to see in the middle of the day. And it's really it's just daytime heating, uh, coalescing with some uh, wind shear in the upper level. The second August. day in a row, you've shown us that. <laughs> right. In yeah. two different states. Exactly, yeah. So yesterday we had it in West uh, Memphis, Arkansas, and then yeah, today in Coffeyville. So uh, we'll see what holds uh, for tomorrow. As we take a look outside right now, we are tracking the next chance for rain and storms across the area. If you got soccer, football practices, whatever your sport might be, this fall, I know there's fall baseball going on. Expect calm conditions all the way through Saturday, so you're good to go. Now, Sunday, things begin to change with chances for storms beginning to increase across here, and they go way up Sunday and Monday. I'm really hopeful for some good soaking rainfall here in northeast Oklahoma by the end of the weekend into early next week. We need it because I'm telling you, this Thursday's drought update is not going to be good for us. We need the rainfall and the good news is the 6 to 15 day outlook does call for the potential for above normal precip and we will take anything we can get at this point in time. As we continue on though, we are tracking some warm conditions across the area, but the rain is going to help bring those temperatures down once again. And the Euro model still showing the potential one to two inches of rainfall for Sunday and Monday of next week. So this would be a, a good soaking rainfall for us here in our area. Temperatures, though, you know what? We're going to be close to normal. And I think that's all we can ask for this time of year is just give us normal. We'll take it. The 104, 110, that's just excessive. We're not going to be anywhere near that the next 7, next 10, 12 days, the way it appears right now. As a matter of fact, we'll drop in the 80s with a chance for rain increasing Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. So your weekend planner Saturday just looks hot and it's going to be a little humid 93 degrees overnight lows in the 70s and then the chance for storms increases on Sunday with afternoon highs near 90 degrees and overnight lows generally in the lower 70s. So not a bad weekend. It's just Sunday evening. You're going to have to watch out for some showers and thunderstorms. Once again, temperatures across the nation, not too bad, pretty uniform from East Coast all the way to West Coast. Uh, with some hot temperatures intermixed in with especially the uh, normal places like the Vegas and Phoenix. Salt Lake City, though, quite hot. And you know what? Bismarck, North Dakota is hotter than we are right now. How about that? We're at 88 degrees as we look outside our Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. A few cumulus clouds. We already climbed our high today, so we've dropped since then with east-northeast wind at 7 miles per hour. It's somewhat bearable outside. It's a bearable summer day. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be back in the 60s to start your morning. So a nice start to our Wednesday, very similar to this morning. Tomorrow afternoon is going to be a little hot and humid across the area, upper 80s to lower 90s here in the metro. Bartlesville at 90 and McAllister coming in at 87 degrees. All right, so we have the chances for storms coming in Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, and that's going to help bring temperatures down. In the meantime, a little hot, especially on Friday, mid 90s, but then here comes that relief, and then we're going to see 90s through much of next week as well. With still a lingering shower storm possible any day next week as well. All right, we'll be back with much more for you coming up right after this.